what you're giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hate you know, a lot of times in martial arts, in the uh, dojos or whether you're inside a dojo or outside a dojo training or you're training with uh, martial arts friends or boxers or wrestlers or whatever, you know, a lot of times, you know, uh, we get bored and we get lazy. And, you know, we get to this plateau to where we feel like we're not making the progress that we need to be or we're not making it fast enough. And what we need to do is we need to change up our workout, change up our, our partner, change up our routine. Uh, do something different because when you do the same thing over and over it makes you, it does make you good but sometimes it can be bad for you and because you know a lot of uh, you know sometimes you can uh, wear yourself out and uh, you know it's just different reasons why but I know one thing if you're really eager to learn if you want to learn from someone that's already uh, the highest in the class and you know has all the achievements, okay, fine. If you want to learn from that student who is eager to learn and practices and ask a lot of questions and you know is there every day then that's a good step. If you're there and you see the person that's there every week but doesn't really have the physical ability but has the eagerness to learn. You know, the type of person that keeps the school together because, you know, he's uh, all the time giving you encouragement and enlightenment and enjoyment in the martial arts and you know uh, he's always willing to practice with you and spar with you and yada 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 that's great too what I'm really wanting to say is if you're really eager to learn then go for the one that's willing to learn with you. So, bottom line is, is if you're in the desert and you're really thirsty and really dehydrated, you follow the thirsty coyote. God bless. Buffer's Way, martial arts.